Mary, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank I, you for having me here. Yeah, I feel so honored to be sitting next to you. <laughs> thank you. This is incredible. This is literally a work of art. Thank you. Everything's a work of art. So I've always, in, yeah, I have uh, eleven-year-olds, so I love reading children's books, <laughs> yeah. and there's some really good ones and some that aren't so good. Yours are awesome. Thank I, you. I was able to read this one this morning. Where do you, uh, where do you get your inspiration from? Well, this story here was written many years ago when my kids were younger and I just kind of held it for a while. But what got that going was um, one of my sons and I were in the laundry room one day and there was a pile of laundry in the floor in this farmhouse and a mouse ran across the floor oh. and landed in the pile. Me afraid. being afraid, jumped on top of the folding table and my son landed on top of the washer. Oh. And we each had a broom handle and we're, we're pushing the pile around to get this mouse to scatter somewhere else. And you know, I'm very frightened of mice and my son goes, oh, geez, mom, it's just a mouse. And I think, well, why are you sitting on top of the washer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that's where that started that's, was that's that. That's so cool. Yeah. Where, uh, or how did you get your start? Did you always, uh, or is this something you always wanted to do or is it something yeah. that just kind of came to you? I've been an artist since about the age of 11. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, and started back then doing a lot of artwork. Um, I've been commissioned by Michigan State University twice. Um, for retiring deans, artwork for them, and um, Central Michigan University oh, as well. Oh, that's awesome. fantastic. So Very the impressive. books are for sale at the Book Cottage here in Jackson yes. nice. and the Nevermore Decor Store right down the awesome. street. Oh, very Absolutely. nice. Yeah. And I think it's important that people know you didn't just write this. I mean, the, all of the artwork, all of everything the artwork. is illustrated by you too. So yes. when I say a work of art, both in you know literary and visual, yeah. this is incredible. Thank you. So are these a series of books? No. No, they're everyone's just, independent. It, yep, everyone is independent. Okay. Um, this one here, we were in the Bahamas and a little crab jumped out of the sand and started to scurry. And uh, my poor husband has to carry my art journal, ah. mm, art bag everywhere we go. So that was down on the beach and I just flipped open the art journal and started writing. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yes, I wanted... in about 30 minutes that one was done. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do, you, do you sit down and plan or do, do, do things just things come, come to, to mind? You? Yeah, things right. come to mind. This one here, Mukari Safari and the Search for the Lockets of Love. Oh. Um, we were at Disney World in the Animal Kingdom mm -hmm. and seeing all of the African art oh. and things like that. Um, it started to come and I, I just couldn't turn it off. You That's know, everything incredible. was there. And so this one is um, uh, set in Africa okay. um, with a story of a little girl who has um, a grandmother who tells her how to go on this journey. And so she's going to meet different um, pieces of art and animals that are all set in Africa. I did mm -hmm. my research to see what is in Africa to find a very um, wonderful love at the end. And it is the love of all children um, of all different races. And oh, there's so even a, a visual on that. there's even know. a little girl we'll with able to we'll see that or not. It's cool. It's really, really cool. And there's a little girl in there that also um, has a disability. Um, so that all children know that they are seen and heard and loved. That's very, very good. And yeah, a great, uh, you know, when parents are reading these stories to their children, it's a great time to add a little bit more context yeah. to some yes. of the stories. And yes, so, so that great. they're aware that people other than themselves, you know, look different, behave yeah. different, and we are to be um, loving and compassionate yeah, it, to everyone. And that's a challenge in, in today's society, as we know. So uh, the more positive news and positive things we can do are, are better. And so I wanted to ask you, too. do you come up with, so in those instances, you saw a crab and mm -hmm. a mouse. So yeah. do you start with the illustrations of what said crab or mouse will look like and then go to the story? Or how well, do I start with the story? Okay, okay. start with there. the story. But as I'm doing the story, my brain is also seeing illustrations that that also connect at the same time. Okay. It's kind of a, a together yeah. thing, and it's hard to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh, it's, your brain must just go a mile a minute. It, it does. It, it really did, especially with um, the Mukari book at Disney World. That one, every turn we went in the Animal Kingdom, 
<laughs> my brain. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, yeah. I've yeah. been there. It's it was absolutely yeah. amazing. Thank you. Thank absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. These yeah. are the kind of books that you could just display on a shelf, and it becomes a part of the decor. Yeah. You know, for that room, and they're just so beautiful and vibrant. And the printer does an excellent job. They're printed on photo paper, so they're not. They are not flimsy. Oh, good. You know, they are very um, sturdy and colorful. You know, and children like to, even babies, you know, tiny babies. Yeah. You can see the look mm -hmm. of, in their eyes and on their faces as they're looking at something colorful. And, yeah. yes. you know, they'll kick their little legs. And it, it starts at birth. Yeah. You know, when they're born. We need to read to them. And as someone who's been writing children's books for a while, have kids changed at all? Some. Um, last fall, I was in uh, Lima, Ohio, and was in a school and was reading to six kindergarten and first grade classes. And all these little ones, you know, are sitting before you, and you can just see the excitement and the questions, and, you know, their eyes are sparkling, and they're looking at the pages and, you know, pointing out things. So it, it was grabbing their attention, and it's just, it's heartwarming, yeah. you know, to see their excitement. When it's good to remember that you know kids are still kids, regardless of what else is happening in the world. Yes. Or what you yes. hear, and they still are very you know visual mm -hmm. and creative. Yeah. They like yep. those things. And so I I wanted to express to them the importance of getting out your crayons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and coloring something, using your imagination, away from the iPad. Yeah. And oh the my TV. Gosh, yeah. I know. You know. What yeah. was the medium that struck a chord with you that turned you into an artist? When you well, I used to do um, a lot of pencil and colored pencil, oh, nice. but then years later, um, watercolor grabbed me. So most of yeah. my work is done in watercolor, um, except if I'm you know, working on canvases, then it's acrylic, okay. uh, mixed media on canvas. Nice. We um, brought a couple photos along. We're going to take a look at those. It's a great... Uh, <laughs> That's where it first that. came up. Are you are you um, are you from Michigan, from the area? Yes, we live in Jackson, but I grew up in St. Louis. Okay. Right up 127. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, Makari Safari and the search for the lockets of love. So the lockets are, you know, like a woman wears a locket uh -huh. around her, you know, heart lockets. Yeah. So the lockets are open with faces of children oh, so in there. Cool. Oh, That's look at Freya. That beautiful. Freya. Freya. Oh. Yeah. After my granddaughter, she doesn't have the disability, but I wanted to make sure there was a child. Mm. Yeah. Was now, I noticed um, in the beginning of this book, you had a beautiful note to your mom. Yes. And is she, did she, was she just so tickled with you, or did she serve any inspiration for you? She, yes, because she's not a mouse lover. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was always very um, supportive of all of my artwork, you know, even as a young child, you yeah. know, in her office. and people in her office would buy my artwork when I was 11 and oh my gosh. hanging up in there That's cool. in their, on their walls. That's yeah. awesome. That yeah. is incredible. Yeah. So remind us, where can we find these? These are at the Book Cottage here in Jackson and um, the Nevermore Decor store okay. and online. Facebook, you can find me on Facebook, Mary Catherine Rach, and my business name is Studio Della Vida. Awesome. Studio Stu Della Vida. Very Studio cool. Della Vida, all on Facebook so what, and what Instagram. Are you, what are you working on next? Well, I do have a book that is written about my mother, but okay. I did have to set it aside after losing her because it was a little painful. Mm -hmm. um, and I have that one that I need to illustrate. And then there's another one that um, is going to be about living on a farm. Oh, cool. Fun. Yeah. Very cool. With animals. Children love animals. So yeah. my books are, yeah. are how many about animals. How many total have you done? These four, and then the, the next two. two. In yeah, two yeah. in progress. So this would yeah. be, a, this would be a, a great start to a. Uh, this would be a great gift for anyone with a newborn. Oh yeah, like yeah. a baby shower yeah. or baby a, shower. you know birthday presents for little ones. Yep. You know, then instead of all the toys that parents have to pick up and throw away when they get stuck down in right. trash. Right, because these you can save and yeah. show them years later yes. and maybe hang on to them for your yeah. grandchildren. You know, yeah. for the grandchildren. Right. As oh, well. I think that's a great yeah. idea. I love the trend um, for baby showers. Like instead of a card, you mm -hmm. get a book and then leave a nice yeah. note on the inside. Yeah, this would be the write perfect that. book for that. Thank you. Yeah, yes. and uh, I'm. We'll probably see years and years of these being passed down, hopefully, I hope so. as yeah. Uh, yeah. generations uh, pass on. And, I hope uh, so. They become someone's, someone else's yeah. favorite book. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, if one child says to me years later, Mrs. Rach, this was my favorite book. Yeah. If, if I never make a dime and it's just that 
then my, I've done my job. That's awesome. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. Very cool. Very cool. Thank well, you. thank you so much for uh, being with us thank today and, and sharing your uh, talents with us. <laughs> thank this you very much for having me. Mary Catherine Rach, author and illustrator with us on The Morning Show. We'll be right back after this break. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping has been proudly serving the Southern Michigan area since 1986. With thoughtful design and quality craftsmanship, our experienced experts can bring any idea to life. Stop into our brand new location and garden center today. From a total redesign to just a few plants to spruce up your outdoor living space, we have everything you'll need. Need dirt, mulch, stone, or topsoil? It's all here and on site at Wilcox. And of course, we can handle the delivery. We can also take care of your fertilizing and weed control, irrigation from repairs to new systems, and all of your landscaping needs. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, everything for your outdoors. Good weather is here and the Grand River Farmer's Market is open in downtown Jackson. Shop fresh Michigan sourced food and quality products directly from local farmers and artisans every Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fresh fruits, vegetables, sweets, crafts, and so much more. Accepting cash, credit cards, EBT, and double up food bucks. Conveniently located at the corner of Mechanic and Pearl Streets along the Grand River. Dive into an ocean of possibilities during Jackson District Library's Summer Reading Program. All it takes is four hours of reading to enter into the grand prize drawings. Win prizes including gift cards to Cascades Ice Cream, Jack 60 Bowling, and more. Plus, family-themed programs and events going on at all 13 branches and a block party July 30th. It's Jackson District Library's Summer Reading Program, continuing through July 31st. Register today at myjdl.com. Greater impact together. That's what makes the new United Way of South Central Michigan extraordinary. Gathering the power of three locally United Ways across six counties means creating equitable, lasting change for the most people facing the toughest social issues. That's real impact right here in your community. Greater impact together. That's United Way of South Central Michigan. Learn more at unitedforscmi.org. Relay for Life doesn't exist because of cancer. It exists because of communities like ours coming together to fight it, to share moments of laughter, moments of silence, to provide a shoulder to cry on or a hand to high five, to raise funds that help the American Cancer Society develop breakthrough research, provide free lodging to patients, and give people free rides to treatment. Join Relay for Life and join the way our 